For some years, the Salisbury Group of Amnesty International has been concerned about the denial of human rights in North Korea. In this short film, we hope to raise awareness of the appalling situation in that country. Most media attention tends to focus on the military threat. We want to highlight the gross abuse of human rights. Thank you for watching. of Commons to interview Fiona Bruce MP who is co-chair of the all-party group which specialises in North Korea. Right. Fiona, thank you very much indeed for giving up your time for this interview for the uh, Salisbury Group of Amnesty. Can you tell us something about the work of your all-party uh, group in, in relation to uh, North Korea? Yes. The all-party parliamentary group uh, on North Korea uh, exists primarily to raise concerns about human rights in North Korea. The human rights situation in North Korea is by far the worst in the world. There is no other comparable state. Um, people are incarcerated for the most minor misdemeanors. Any criticism of the leader, Kim Jong-un, uh, risks uh, imprisonment in the severest conditions where people are worked to death, they are starved to death, they are frozen to death. Uh, there are estimated to be uh, possibly three, four hundred thousand uh, prisoners uh, in uh, North Korea, many of them political. Uh, the exact number is unknown, but many people are incarcerated for their faith. Um, to even uh, own a Bible uh, risks uh, several years imprisonment. And not only are the uh, conditions in which prisoners live inhumane, uh, but also the rest of the country, uh, even if you are in uh, uh, what might be called a free situation, um, the, the whole state has been uh, described as one huge uh, concentration camp. There's no freedom of speech as such. Um, the, uh, there's no freedom of employment. You are told what job you will do. Um, the young people have to spend several years in the army. Uh, you will be told uh, even uh, where you will live. Um, there's very limited food and uh, recently uh, with poor harvests uh, that's become even more uh, difficult and we, we know of stories in years gone by and uh, I think they're probably um, ones that aren't um, yeah, fable and probably still exist from time to time of people eating grass, uh, the bark of trees. Um, every individual in, in North Korea is, is classified in a, to a certain um, uh, state section and then they will be monitored and watched. They must attend obviously classes to make sure that they uh, know exactly what the regime wants. And so freedom as, 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 we, as we know it is a completely unknown entity there. And of course there's no... Um, so it's a country where uh, inhumane uh, actions on the part of the state, state sanctioned torture, uh, state-sanctioned, inhumane treatment. And uh, women, for example, particularly badly treated. Um, they will be sexually uh, mistreated, uh, forced abortions. Uh, they are very much um, second or third class citizens. Um, th th this is something that uh, violence against women and girls in North Korea is something which is a particularly uh, difficult issue and of course if you try to escape North Korea you will risk uh, serious uh, sanctions if you are caught imprisonment but sadly now not only for yourself but also with the three-generation rule you can uh, 
have three generations of your family then also punished as a result of you trying to escape. You've also been involved with the escapee. Can you yes. tell us a little bit uh, about her? Yes, of course. She lives in London at the moment, in, in England at the moment. Her name is Ji Yuan Park, and she was one of the people who escaped prison in North Korea and crossed the river into China, where she was treated abominably by the Chinese and actually gave birth to a child there, which uh, when they said she could go, they set her free. They said they would keep the child. It was only after long discussions that she was able to keep the child. She came to India, uh, to England, and um, it now works with regard to relations with North Korea, uh, with the European Union, I think it is. Uh, and she came to speak to us. And she gave us the details of her life, what had happened to her, how she had escaped, how she got across to, to England, and it was frightening in the extreme. Uh, people should not be allowed to be treated as badly as she was, and as badly as so many hundreds of thousands of North Koreans are. Uh, is your group planning on doing more in connection to, with North Korea? Well, we constantly contact um, our officials, the government, the local MP, and ask them, can they please contact China and ask them not to send back uh, these prisoners who have escaped from North Korea. Some of them are not prisoners, of course. Some of them are some ordinary people who can't take the life anymore. Uh, but so far we've had no response from China and the response from our government is that we are doing all the best we can, which isn't very much. That's great. Send us.